Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. See, this side's working good, but I don't have anything working here. I've got no cooling water coming in because I'm using all the water in here and this has got to back all the way up in order for that to come through. I don't have enough water coming through to properly cool all of my base down at the moment. I have problems with this. Right, we just don't have enough water travelling through everything in order to like, back it all up completely. And that is an issue for us. It's sort of backed up to there. And maybe if the power supply stays continuous, it will actually work. If we've got enough power coming in to continue doing it. But that's a big if. We may not have enough power to be able to do this. Uh, more steel working there. If we have a look at our overlay. We've now got the water. See, and this this is this thing's a bit greedy with the cooling water. But I need the cooling water going into there. I can't have it going anywhere else. So that's just going to have to keep going the way it is right now. We will leave the rest. Everything is built down this side. Which means I can now go to ventilation... And we want to... No, we still want radiant gas pipe for a minute. That's going to come over there like that. And hit that point. Now, I've got gas running all the way down to here. And that's going to start up this anti-entropy thermo nullifier. At least that's what I'm hoping. So I've got all the gas here. It's running into these. And it's quickly emptying that out. It's being used up by this one. And then that's going to end up cooling all of this down. At least that's what I'm hoping. See, it's already quite cool in here. The contents in there. So if I look at that pipe there, contents at 34 degrees. This is 54 degrees in here. So it's 34 up there. And then it's traveling all the way down here. It's 37 there. It's gained a couple of degrees. And by the time it gets all the way down to here, it's at 37 degrees down here. So it's not gained a massive amount of temperature, which is good. And then this area right here is already starting to cool down by quite a bit. So I'm hoping there's going to freeze this water in here, and then that one's not going to complain about it being underwater. Uh, there is one thing that I will do, is I will mop that, and I will mop that, and that doorway, and I will mop everything in there anyway, just to, in you know, help ensure that everything works correctly in there. Then I want to go here, we're going for the insulated pipes again, now that we've gone through that bit, and this is going to come back over here, and I'm going to... The problem I've got with these insulated pipes now is that I've got to be able to... Just stop it there a second. I could try and run it through here and, like, pass it through this bit because this is actually the same, like, suit area. So that is a possibility. That's 43 degrees there. It's only 37 degrees up here. It's 50 degrees up here. This is quite warm. But I've also then got... I've got several pipes up this side. Which I've got to go through. I've got to be able to dance across a load of pipes here. And that's going to make it a bit more difficult. All I have to do is just come in underneath here and do it. Um, it's not impossible. But it's the, temp it's the surrounding temperatures that we've got. This is at like 40 degrees here. 50 degrees over there. So it's, it's slightly higher temperatures. This in here is warm. This this is this is very warm. But I mean I, I need to bring it through there. So where is the best place to go and do that? I think we will actually what's that? That's 40 degrees in there. If I was to do that, I'd go back underneath down this way. I just want to build a ladder across there and essentially just snip through that bit. I'm going to leave it, and I'm going to go back up the way we came. So we're going to go here with an insulated gas pipe, and we're going to run that one 
under the floor. I think it's going to be slightly cooler under there. I need to try and take the coolest possible route now. So we want to go in here. And... Uh, bring this one in like that. It's going to go that way. And it's going to go... Over here near the ladder. And then into the floor here. And it's going to go under the floor. Like that. And it's going to come down here somewhere. It's going to go to about there for a minute. And then I need to bring it through here. So where is it? This is this water in here is about 40 degrees. That's about 47 degrees of the carbon up there. So I'm kind of thinking that we're going to have a ladder. The ladder is going to do a line across there like that. That's probably the best way to make this work. Then we will cancel that one and that one. We will fire pole insulated gas pipe. Deconstruct that one. Deconstruct that one as well. Ventilation insulated pipe. Actually, I need a gas bridge first. That one has to go that way. And it does connect right in there like that. Insulated pipe. And that's going to run all the way across over to here. And then head up this way. Wait a minute. Don't head anywhere just yet. Where is It's right in there. Okay. Cancel... Break those bits off just for a second and then go back over here to insulated gas pipe. Bring that insulated gas pipe up here. I'll do it like this so that I'm above ground level. Actually, that's going to be perfect. I'm going to bring it down in here like this and it's going to go to there. Now, this bit in here, this is like 11 degrees in here, and it could do with being a bit cooler. Now, I've got a security door that's saying open, so I'm going to put that on auto like that. So they should change that over and allow that door to be closed. Change the pending state on that one so that we can close that one up need you to do that in a minute and also I can have the ventilation here and I can move all of these things around in a minute actually I'll just, I'm gonna let them come in and do that in a minute and make those changes we've got 64,000 calories right now which is absolutely fantastic it means that things are working the way that we want them to 6.9 tons of steel I'm not going to change this over just yet I'm not going to make any changes to, like, I'm not going to have an extra one of those making more steel because we don't have the water supply for it. The other water supply that we've got is not sufficient. We need more than that. Right, that door is now changed. I'm going to just mop up that floor a minute. And I'm kind of happy with just leaving this as it is right now. We'll possibly put in something extra. We'll take radiant gas pipe now. I'm going to bring that underneath like this. And I'm going to go out by a few. That will join in there. And I'll bring it back like that. And over to there. That's radiant pipe over to there and then it will run into that bit so I'm gonna want to do a ladder now in here I'll do a ladder there like that and then I will go on that tile and I will deconstruct it and that should allow me to reach all the rest because they can wait I thought you deconstructed that Someone deconstruct that tile there, please. If you can deconstruct the tile, then we can complete this properly. They, 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 they don't want to do it. 
They're going to... You watch. The, no, one's, no one's actually going to do that tile, are they? They're going to do everything else. They're not going to do that tile. There we go. Right, now they've gone and deconstructed the tile. So now we've just got those few bits of radiant pipe there. That No, that's not unreachable at all. They are all reachable. And here comes the hydrogen. So we have a look in there. Contents, hydrogen at minus one degree. That's because it was sat for ages over in the other side. So that's not a full-on temperature that it will be normally but if we have a look in here we can see it's lovely and cold in there so the hydrogen is coming in here at 37 degrees and it's leaving there at 20 degrees which is about right okay yes real life interrupted there for a moment um now we can't see it because it's saving so we are getting a decent cooling effect coming from where it comes in here, a uh, radiant gas pipe at 35 degrees, and it's at 16 degrees when it's leaving down the bottom. Now, obviously, with the gas running through it, it's going to possibly affect how well that works, but at the moment, it does seem to be pretty good. And then if we go all the way back up here, we've already got a cold room in here. This has already cooled down by quite a considerable amount. And the contents of the hydrogen in there are just 7 degrees. Like, it's really cooled that down dramatically. So by the time it's, like, it's, it's coming down through here, and we're looking at contents of hydrogen at 19. Now, I don't know if that's actually heating up as it comes down through. So I'm, I'm looking on... Actually, I want to come down to... Where is it? Where is it coming? It's coming down this side right here. So we're looking at... Contents is at 19 degrees right there. So it's not, it's not going any further than that. It's sort of going a bit slow right now. So we... Oh, there was a printable there. Let's just have a look and see what we've got. And... Three shovel eggs. Right, now there is a way that you can actually move these quickly and efficiently... So I'm going to print those three shovel eggs because in, you know, I said that I've been playing quite a bit myself. I started a new map and I played a whole load in there and I have my shovel farm right in the middle of the base and it worked really well. Um, you just got to, I didn't have any escape from there. I did have one escape when I breached the surface. Um, I didn't actually have any escape from my shovel farm, which was absolutely fan schmastic. Now, that storage bin right there, I've got a load of regolith being stored in that one. And I don't want regolith being stored in there. I want to get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a new bin up here. Storage bin. I'm going to build a new bin out there for the regolith. And I'm going to have that one and I'm going to remove the filtration medium and then I'm going to go into here and I'm going to have shove vol eggs go into there and that is going to be a priority nine like that so you can dump all of that out onto the ground probably these guys are going to eat that yeah there they go see now they're, they're not going to be and then they poop it out but we have this one to take care of that. And then they're going to come along and eat the regolith, which is... It, it, it Basically, we're going to have a slight issue with these guys eating and this not being a starvation farm for a while. So I've got that one there. And they've now gone and we've got those shovel eggs have all been brought in here. And we, we've got several of them. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got six shovel eggs in there. We've got one in there as well. And, yeah, they've, they've gone and done the whole eating the regolith thing. But um, the starvation will still kick in eventually and, and, and will come along quite nicely. But anyway, we don't want to worry about that right now. We want to come all the way back down here. Our steel at the moment is 7.7 .7 tons, which means that we do have enough to start the first step of the monument. Now, I was kind of wondering about putting the monument in here. If we got two bedrooms per floor, that means we've got two, four, six, eight, ten. 
12, 14, 16 bedrooms, which isn't enough. So I'd have to bring the bedrooms out this side and put two more bedrooms out over there. Uh, the other side of the tunnel, maybe, or do something. I'm not quite sure what I would do, but I don't have enough room to put all the bedrooms there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this up a little bit so that we've got a platform to put this one on. I don't know how big it is. Actually, let's see how big it is first. Furniture. And you got monument midsection right there. Monument base. Right, I've got... Oh! Must be built in an unoccupied. So I can put that there, or... I can build it out of... Can Does that mean I can do it out of steel or obsidian? I don't know. I don't think I can. It, it looks like, you know... You, Possibly you've got the choice, but I, I don't think I do, actually. Anyway, what I want to do is I don't really want our massive great big monument stuck in the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it along here. It takes five tiles. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. I will have the ladder going up the side. I've got a feeling that I'm going to want that one. Uh, I get rid of those two. And then we will do that. Now we will come over to furniture like this and we will take the monument base right there. I'm going to just click on obsidian and I'm going to dump that one down like that. And I think it does. Yeah, it's OK. So it does require all of the ingredients that were listed in order to be able to make it work. Right. Well, let's not worry about that. So... Then what I want to do is I want to go into ventilation. I want to go to the insulated gas pipe over here. And I want to take this insulated gas pipe. And I want to bring it back into our base. And then release this beautiful cold hydrogen into the base. And I want to release it somewhere around here. So before I fully decide, this seems to be the biggest pocket of heat that we've got. So if I was to dump it here then that hydrogen will be able to rise all the way up through here. It's Obviously, it's not affecting this side of the base, but it's a start. If I've got it releasing here so that it's going between these two, that hydrogen is going to come all the way up here, and then it's going to be picked up by the uh, gas pumps that we've got up here. I've got two gas pumps up there, and the rest of this will just kind of circulate up through, although... Too much hydrogen in here could end up suffocating our dupe. So maybe I need to just bring it over to that point over there. Ventilation. We'll... Hmm. Actually thinking, if I put oxygen here as well... I got oxygen coming into there. If I have the oxygen coming out of there and going through... It'll have that oxygen circulating the base a little bit more. And it's got like an exit point. I've got one exit point there, um, which is an overpressure one. And so that's what I'm going to do here to start with. We're going to put a gas vent. And I'm going to put oxygen here. So actually, I'm going to put it right there in that corner. And then the idea is that, that oxygen will then be able to sort of go in through this area along with the hydrogen that we're going to put in. The hydrogen is going to have a high pressure vent and that's going to go over there. And that hydrogen is being filtered. I've got stuff filtering here. That's just oxygen that's filtering out. And then the other is coming in as more oxygen. What's going on here? That's coming up there. So why are you... You aren't doing anything. Oh, you got no power. Yeah, well, that 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 would explain that. Right, a uh, gas pipe over here. That gas pipe is just going to go up and join into that one over this side. All I need is this to come out, and we'll go up. Ooh, for a decent cooling effect. All I need to do is I bring it up to here. I will bring it to that point there, and then I will use radiant pipe along there, down along this way, and then out there, and that will release it into the base. So we're going to have... 
radiant pipe here, which is going to probably warm up the hydrogen to about maximum temperature anyway. So that's going to be radiant pipe over to there. And then I'll have insulated. I don't want to have any pipes showing in this room. So then we'll have insulated pipe coming out this way. And back under and then down here like this. And that's going to go over there, down along this. Actually, no, we'll, just, we'll, we'll go up there like that and then into there like that. So there is the rest of the pipes to go in. We've already got this one. We've now got oxygen coming out here, which is going to be able to go around the rest of the base, which is going to help. I know this one's already producing oxygen, but this should help the oxygen circulation. The only problem we got is that there's a lack of oxygen down here in this bedroom here. That's the worst of the bedrooms. Uh, the rest of this is not going to take very long for them to go and construct. I know they're on, um, some of them are on break right now and some of them are not. So I've got hydrogen coming in here at 21.4 degrees. It takes a while to travel through, which is why the hydrogen is warming up. Uh, if we go and have a look at our hydrogen tanks, they're already filled. They've already filled back up again. We get quite a lot of hydrogen coming out of our system right, all the way through. We have a substantial amount of hydrogen coming all the way through. So it comes into there and it's not being used very quickly, which means that we've already got quite high temperature. It's going to take a while. Like We need that to actually get fully started before we can really judge how effective that is being. Now we've got our oxygen over here. It's kind of spreading out a little bit more. It's a bit jerky at the moment because they're building pipes. And when they build pipes, it takes a little while. And you, you get these, like, that jerks backwards and forwards every time a new pipe is um, engaged into the system in there. But it is going to work. Eventually. I need you to work. Well, uh, damage overheated. That's, oh, that's, yeah, we, we don't need to worry about them. I've got some of these pipes. That's on uh, overpressure on there. Once the hydrogen starts pushing through here, it's likely this oxygen isn't going to be able to push into the room very effectively anyway. It's going to slow things down a little bit. Why aren't you coming through and building? Oh, I know why. They've changed to a different priority. So I'm just going to do that. And that there, I want these to be on a maximum priority situation down here. And I suppose it doesn't matter if that door is on max priority. That won't affect it either. I got damage overheated. I got six buildings there on... Oh, wait, the Thermo Aqua Tuna... How have you flashed off all... Like, everything has flashed off in here. They got steam at 500 kilos of pressure in there. The entire room has now flashed off. I did not expect that to happen. Right. We're going to need to start that pump up again. Enable building. And we're going to go up here and we're going to disable that vent right there. This one in here is awaiting 3,840 kilos of steel. Although we have a few other things that we're going to be building first. So we want to go back to our ventilation overlay and we'll be having a look at this. Just to get an idea if this is actually going to work. Now I've got... Problems up in here. I know I've got problems in there, but that will soon be taken care of. What I want to see is this bit. Now, they're mostly coming in. They're doing all right at the moment. The salt water is on its way up. It's going to head off to the one at the top. By the time that gets all the way up there, these here will be finished. Come on. 
I just need you to do this. There's only a few more. They, they were all there. They were able to do it. And then they all decided, oh, I can't be bothered by this. And then they disappeared. Just a couple more. Just a couple more. Because this, this is warming up pretty quickly. I mean, I've got this one over this side. And he, he's working quite nicely. We have a look in here. This is cold. And I've got that door closed. Which will make a difference. And there we go. Right. So we're coming in here about 24 degrees, and then by the time it runs through to this one up here, it is minus 5 right there. It's going to get a lot warmer than that. That's coming in at 40 degrees there. And that 40 degree temperature, 15, 16, 4. See, it's, it's already heating up in there a bit, but it's not going to stay at that high temperature for long. Now, I've got this here at minus 4. That's 17 degrees there. It's already warming up. What we'll end up with is going to be too cold in these bedrooms. That's what we will end up with. You watch. But right now, we've got some lovely cool air coming in here. And it is, it's going to cool everything down. That's 40 degrees right there in that radiant gas pipe. And that's gonna, like, already it's it's gonna cool stuff down coming in here. It's 12 degrees coming in on the radiant gas pipe. And what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna need to wait until we've had, like, one or two of these go all the way through the system and run all the way around. Now, if I'm looking there, I got contents of that at 7 degrees there. I go all the way up here. We've got fresh stuff coming in. That's 50 degrees coming in right there. And it's 11 degrees going out there. 12. It's climbing. That's 36. 20. 27. All right. 37 there. 30, it seems about 13 degrees isn't far off of what we expect on this. I mean, it's... It's warming a little bit as it goes through there. But it's not warming a huge amount, which means that we are like the, the whole cooling effect is working really nicely. I mean, I'm thinking maybe we should now we could just seal this off. Thinking that's going to be cool enough. So if I was to take a piece of base and I was to plonk a bit of radiant tile up there as a cap. That should help that out a huge amount. And then we can come all the way down here. And obviously this is a long way to travel. I'm looking at there and I got 15 degrees going in that gas pipe there. And then I'm looking there. Radiant gas pipe. That's 4.6 degrees coming in through that one. That's saying 5 degrees there. This one up here is 18. And that's coming in there at about 5 degrees. Which ain't too shabby. 6.4, 6.5. So we're looking at about 6 degrees in there. And this is going to have a slight cooling effect across the entire base. So then it's coming in here at 9 degrees. And it's now leaving this area at 1 degree. And it's actually getting colder. We're now hitting a negative temperature in here. Which is absolutely fantastic. Like this is working beautifully to cool everything down and it's it's properly cooling down well, unfortunately that's all we've got time for for a little while we need to let the replicants rest so if you've enjoyed this episode then please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and i am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.